it's time to serve it up. Tim Sancolin of Ole Miss and Maki Rakatamalala of Arizona State take the court for a men's NCAA tennis showdown. Who will be crowned the next John Bro Cajun Tennis Classic champion? Find out next on CST. Cajun Courts in Lafayette, Louisiana. Cox Sports Television is proud to present the 2019 John Bro Cajun Tennis Classic. Today, the singles finals featuring Tim Sancolin of Ole Miss and Maki Rakamatola of Arizona State. Hello again, everyone. I'm Dan McDonald, along with my broadcast partner, UL Raging Cajun Tennis Coach Mark Jeffrey, a former All-American himself. And Mark, this tournament has been a staple on the national tennis scene for a long time. Went away for a little while, but thanks to you, Senator Bro, and a lot of other people, it's back and it's better than ever. Yeah, many, many thanks to, to Senator Bro because there's no way we could have had this tournament. Uh, he continues to, to help us each and every year, and, that, and that's the main reason why we have it. And uh, it, uh, back in 1979, it was one of the first televised, uh, national televised events uh, for tennis, and uh, it went away in about the mid-'80s and uh, to late-'80s, and then uh, we were fortunate enough to, to bring it back in 2014 with, with John's help, and it's been bigger and better every single year, and we've already got early commitments for a bunch more SEC schools, so we're very excited about today and also the future of the tournament. Today we'll have both the singles and the doubles finals. First, it'll be the singles, and Tim Sancolin of Ole Miss, he was the top seed, played very, very well in advancing to the finals, had a little bit of a test in yesterday's semifinals. We talked to him about it before we started today's match. Yes, my first two matches were, yeah, as you said, fairly easy. Uh, I played really good tennis. Uh, yesterday I started off a little, yeah, not as good as the day before, and uh, I'm glad I could I could get that win yesterday because it's always it's it's always hard when you don't play your best tennis and still win the match. So uh, that'll give me a lot of confidence for for today's final. Was expected pretty much to get to the finals. He was the top seed. Not so much for Maki Rakamatola. He was unseated in the tournament, player from Arizona State, a very young program, but he has stepped up in this tournament. He's had three wins. He's knocked off two of the seeds in this tournament. Yeah, I think I play, I play good tennis right now. I know, I knew that there's some good players here in this tournament, and uh, yeah, I was like confident because I practiced well. The last one, I was really motivated because it's my last year. You know, I'm a senior, so uh, yeah. I mean, I'm in the final today, and I really look forward to it. Of Ole Miss, or will it be the Arizona State Red Devils coming through? We'll be back to find out at the John Bro Cajun Tennis Classic here at Cajun Courts. It's Ole Miss and Arizona State here in the finals of the singles competition, the John Bro Cajun Tennis Classic, and Mark Tim Sancolin of Ole Miss. He's a very experienced player. He's played very, very well for a couple years for the Rebels, two-time All-SEC, very solid player. Tim is now, you know, the 25th ranked player in NCAA Division I. He started off his career in the juniors as well, the 33rd ranked junior in the world and um, was a double semifinalist at the French Open juniors. And uh, I fully anticipate him to play number one for, for Ole Miss this year and uh, probably in big match moments uh, I think Tim's probably had a lot more recent experience and, and that's why he probably started out as the uh, as the favorite today. The senior from Germany will be going up against a junior from France is Maki Rakamatola and he's been I guess if there's been a surprise in this tournament it's him. He's really unseated but as you know that's that's a little bit that's not really completely accurate because he's played very very well. Well, you go back and look at his history, it's not surprising at all. The guy was ranked 48th in the world in the junior rankings, and uh, he was one of the top 1,000 players on the ATP Tour. So, I mean, if this match was played in the professional ranks, then maybe the script is actually flipped and Mackey might be the favorite today. But of recent big-time, you know, tournament finals, again, he probably hasn't had a lot of that. He's played the Australian Open uh, Junior Grand Slam, so he's got probably just as much junior big moment experience, but probably not of just recent. 
we're ready to go. Paul Jones, our chair umpire, has said we can play. And Tim Sen calling of Ole Miss with his first serve long. That one will sail long. Mark, you've already you've always talked about how important it is for players to get off to a good start. You never know. It's it's a momentum. Momentum's big in finals. You never know how a guy's going to be able to come out and handle the finals. And deep uh, volley from San Colin. I was just saying, like uh, Tim came out with a very very slow first. Uh, you know, basically first and second on the very first point. He's just kind of feeling his way. That really helped him gain a little bit of confidence. And then the second point, he's come out big with a forehand. Second serve for St. Colin, leading 30 love in the first set. Oh, nice, nice move at the net by the Ole Miss senior. Yeah, what's happening here in the very, very beginning, just for our viewers, is that these guys are in rally ball mode. And what that means is they're probably hitting at about 50, 60 percent of what their potential capability is. So they're not going, they're not going full blast here. But great topspin volley there to end that point. 40 love. And again, a second serve for St. Colin. He's had that big kick serve on his second. Rakamatoa breaks through here. I think that one of the keys to the match is Rakamatoa being able to get forehands from the center, but also being able to lift that forehand up high to uh, Tim's uh, one-handed backhand. That's a tough shot for the one-hander up high. Again, a second serve for the Rebel senior. Tim Sen Collin will win the first set, first game of set number one. It'll be interesting to see how Mackey comes out here with his serve. I mean, uh, whether he's going to use the serve to try and finish points or whether he's going to just use the serve to uh, actually get the point started here. So it'll be interesting to see what, uh, what Mackey comes out uh, in this very first point. It's going to be a hot day here at Cajun Courts, but these two players, you know, they're coming from one from the deep south, one from the desert area. They should be used to this kind of heat. Yeah, I mean, the, the only difference is obviously uh, Ole Miss, you've got the humidity there and then uh, Arizona a little bit dry heat, which is a little bit different. But he hasn't shown uh, any any signs of slowing down Mackey or tournament. So he, obviously he's in, he, he looks like he doesn't move very well, but he does move very well. He's, he's uh, it's um, mis misconceiving here that how well he actually moves. And Rocco Tomalo will have his second serve. Well, that was good to say long, maybe a little nerves early. Oh, definitely, definitely. And uh, this is an opportunity, and he senses this, same call, and he senses that he's a little bit, he's a little bit nervous, and uh, it's about momentum. So let's see if he can take advantage. Colin gets that one down the line and quickly he's up love 30. Yeah, he got Mackey there was very, very unlucky there. He was actually had the backhand volley covered there. And you can see that just clipped the tape and went over his racket there. Very, very unlucky. Should have probably been 15 all. Rocco Tamala has beaten the number four seed and the number two seed in the quarterfinals and semifinals. He beat Chase Ferguson of South Florida, the number two seed yesterday. He did it very easily, 6-3, 6-4. Love 40. Yeah, Mackey, compared to what he was doing during the regular tournament here in the quarters and semis, he's hitting the ball much, much slower. So nerves 
are playing a big factor. Look, nerves, you need nerves to get to a high level, but the bad nerves are unfortunately taken over here for Mackey. Nice first serve that time sets him up. And that's what he was doing quite a lot uh, throughout the tournament. 15, big 40. first serve, and then he was, he was flattening that forehand out. He gets that ball to the middle of the court there, and you just watch him go three straight, straight through that baseline. Flattening that ball out. He was doing that a lot in the early rounds. You can see a little bit of a grin from Maki there right after that shot, knowing maybe that loosened him up just a little bit. Nice cut off at the net again. And Tim Sen Collin of Ole Miss takes a quick 2 0 lead here in set number one. Yeah, unfortunately, in that game, Mackey got too far behind, and uh, Tim was able to capitalize and uh, get the uh, get the early break. And it'll be interesting to see if Tim, how how big he's going to serve here on his first serve. Is he going to play for the percentages and just get that first serve in and locate, or is he going to go for the big uh, the big uh, big serve to try and win the point outright on the first? Let's see. Quickly, we'll go to game number three. San Collins to serve. Well, he's gotten the first serve in. He's been very, very effective. Well, you see the ser first serve pace there compared to the first game there. It's much, much higher. So he's, his confidence is up now. Thirty love. And this is what we talk about momentum. You know, he's up to love. He's got uh, games to play with. And he's going, he's going big. Nice get by Maki, but put away. And Mark uh, San Collins may have used a couple of different serves. I think he's got uh, Maki Tola a little bit off balance. Yeah, it was, he's good. He's he able to go, you know, through the center T and then change it up wide there. Maki wasn't expecting that. It's 40 love okay, and Miss. quickly it's an ace Miss serve Miss. and quickly set. Tim San Collins of Ole Miss is out front 3-0. You're watching the singles finals of the John Bro Cajun Tennis Classic here at Cajun Courts. Earl's Cajun Market on Verot School Road opens seven days a week serving daily plate lunches. You can have Earl's cater your event or just, just stop by for Earl's famous Boudin and Cracklins. Verot School Road, a proud supporter of the John Bro Cajun Tennis Classic. Maki Rakamatola is trying to work his way back. He trails Tim Collin of Ole Miss 3-0 here in the first set already. Yeah, you see the assistant coach back there, uh, Michael Cocter, and uh, told him there to kick the ball up high to that single hand back end and then try and get a forehand after that, that serve there. You Kicking the ball up high, that's a hard shot to handle for the Ole Miss player. Rakatamal got broken on his first set or his first service here in the first set. 30 love. Comes back here with two points and trying to just turn the momentum early. Right, and he's, uh, he's doing that. He's, uh, he's able to get first serves in and he's able to set his forehand up and that's high percentage plays. He's not risking too much. I think that's the right play right now. He needs to get himself on the board. 3-1 here as quickly as possible and put the, uh, put the pressure back onto Tim. Forty love. That one will go out, and the Arizona State Junior quickly up forty love in this one. Yeah, Tim going for the uh, trying to change the direction there. That's a riskier shot. Percentage shot would have been to go back cross court, back to the server. Uh, guessed right that time, or guessed wrong if it's if it's sent calling. And game Arizona State. Rocky Tamala with Three his to one, first game here, and maybe that will shake things loose, and we'll get uh, we'll get some high-level tennis from him now. What I liked there was the process, the way that he won the game there. It was smart play. He didn't double down and try and go for, you know, try and hit his way out of trouble. He actually just tried to play the percentages, and that was a pretty 
pretty smart game for Mackey. First serve long from the senior from Ole Miss. Oh, nice shot by Maki there. That's these bets, his big weapon, and uh, he can he can hit that winning, he can hit that forehand from uh, anywhere in the court. And as you can see here, his feet are behind the baseline there, and boom, that's a great shot. I mean, that was four or five feet behind the baseline, flattening it out through the uh, through the cross court there, through the baseline. Fifteen all. San Colin gets that one back with that big serve. Guy that's played number one position for Ole Miss all of last year, two times all SEC and played in some big matches against a very competitive league. And left the wide open court though that time. Yeah, Tim's not gonna be happy about that. He should have been able to put that volley away and uh, let Mackey back into that point. Uh, he's given uh, Mackey a little bit of breathing room here, as we can see here on the replay here. Mackey able to recover on that backhand side and then be able to hit the winner down the line with the backhand there, holding the racket, holding the ball. You see the abbreviated follow through there. That means he's just holding the ball on his racket a little bit longer and waiting for San Colin to guess. Come on. That 30 all. Doesn't quite get there, and we are even here in. Game number five. This is it. This is the first big, big point here. We've got you know 30 all, and the winner of this point will actually have at two game points or two break points. And at 3-1, critical here for San Colin to keep the momentum and Mackey trying to break through. This is a big, big point. And he'll have to do it on a second serve again. He's going to fly out and a big chance for Rocket Tomala to get himself right back in this match. Yeah, unforced error. I mean, it was a short ball and uh, he, he normally handles that ball fairly easily. So he's given Mackey kind of pretty much two unforced errors here. So he's allowing Mackey uh, back into this match. So two break points now, as we as we said earlier, two break points for Mackey as we uh, we have no ad scoring here if it gets to uh, deuce. Backhand catches the net, and we are at Deuce at Deuce. another huge point. Deciding point receiver's choice. And you see the one-handed back in there. It does actually give you a little bit more RPMs. I mean, he actually gets a little bit more spin, and because of that spin, you can see here, well, it, it extended Mackey, uh, Mackey's strike zone there, and, and his strike zone there was out of his backhand strike zone and uh, netted that ball. The ball was a little bit too far away from him. At Deuce. Receiver gets the choice of what side he'd like to take the serve in. Let's see if Mackey goes big on this forehand right away. Nice drop shot and then a nice lob. Wicked cross court from Tim Sincollin as he holds on and takes a 4 1 lead here in the first set of the John Bro Cajun Tennis Classic Singles Championships. Join Cox Sports Television tonight for your New Orleans Saints pregame and postgame coverage. Tune in as we kick off our pregame coverage with Saints Game Day live at 530. After the game, catch Saints Tonight 
live from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome as Victor Howell, Scott Shanley, and Mike Neighbors break down the game with Deuce McAllister, also an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Drew Brees. That is tonight, pregame and postgame. Tim sent Colin of Ole Miss with a commanding 4-1 lead after holding serve. Look to take. Catching the line with that, and you can tell, Mark, after just a little bit of a, a break, Tim sent Collins back playing very confidently. Yeah, look, I, I, I I didn't think there's much difference in the players, to be honest. It's just that Mackey okay. got off to a little bit slower start. He's a little bit more nervous. And uh, I, I really feel like this set is still going to be very, very competitive. Nice drop shot by Rocco Tamala to get back even in this game. That was a great ball. Mackey saw that Tim went way back there on the backhand. And the reason why he tried to do that as far as on the return there is to try and get a little bit more power in the return. But unfortunately for Tim, dropped it too short. And that left the front of the court there exposed. And uh, good choice of shot there from Mackey. Mackey's got that big forehand. How hard is it to all of a sudden just drop back and, and lay down that drop shot, sort of like laying a bunt down. Fifteen thirty. Yeah, going going back to what you're you're saying before, Dan, it's not that hard if you're able to get your weight forward and in your strike zone. It's not that hard. But if that ball, if you go if you're moving lateral or back and it's a little out of your strike zone, that that's what makes it a little harder. When you drop shot, you have to be able to have your weight coming forward. That makes the drop shot a lot easier than having to use too many too much hands if your weight's going lateral or back. from Mackey. I mean, forehand to forehand, I, I feel like on that cross court, Mackey might have a little bit of an advantage there on the forehand. He's got a little bit more power and uh, was able to get Tim there moving to his right out of his strike zone, which, uh, which created the error. Rocket Tamala gets this one back to 30 all. Really a must game for him to hold serve here. Absolutely. A service, that's one way to get one of the points you need. Well, it was unreturnable. Uh, you know, in tennis, we, uh, we refer to ace as uh, basically, you know, untouched ball, but, you know, it's just as good. I mean, untouched or un uh, unplayable as far as, you know, missed return on the first ball, pretty much the same thing. So Mackey uh, needed that big serve there to get two game points here. I think he needs to come up with another big serve down the tee here. Gets the big Arizona serve State. to go in again, and Ole Miss lead four games to two, first set. Rocket Tamala holds to get back to four two, but he is still down a break. As we can see here, didn't go down the tee, but he jammed Tim. Uh, it's much harder to hit uh, with your hands uh, inside your body than if you're easily, more easily able to extend away from your body. Jammed Tim, good serve there, and uh, four two. Um, I, I tell you, it's so in, far okay. it's. Mackey. There's only a separation of a couple of I'm important points. Tim Sen Collins, a senior from Germany. Both an outstanding player, also been a three-time member of the SEC Academic Honor Roll. So an outstanding student as he gets ready to serve at 4-2. 15 love. And quickly gets that first serve in. What Mackey needs to do now is he needs to make, he can't afford to give Tim any free points now. I and mean, that's, uh, that's a bad area. He's got to make, he's got to make Tim play.
30 love. And uh, another unforced error. And the Rebel senior, again, in a solid position. We've seen two of those errors from Mackey. What he's doing wrong is he's not letting the ball get outside his body enough. And it's two balls too close. And that, that's why he's, he's missing that ball long. 40 love. And there's your ace service. 30 love. He's got points to play with. There's no pressure. So why not? Why not go for the big serve? And 40 love here, as we can see, the big serve out wide. May as well go for another big serve here. Got that drop shot just a little too high. A classic example of just what you talked about. Might not have been way fully forward. Tim Sencollin of Ole Miss leads 5-2 here in set number one of the singles championship at the John Bro Tennis Classic. The Raging Cajun volleyball team hits the CST Airways this Saturday. Tune in at 8 p.m. for tape delay coverage as the Cajuns take on Appalachian State. And don't miss the women's soccer team on October 27 with two back-to-back matchups on CST. At 1 o'clock versus Georgia Southern, and then live at 3 against Troy. Log on to CoxSportsTV.com for the full broadcast schedule. Maki Rakamatola is down 5-2 serving and just trying to find some way, Mark, to get back in this match. You have to get the first point to make that happen. Well, the way back from Maki is he's got to be able to use that big serve, and he's got to be able to use his forehand. And if he if he does lower the pace in that first serve, and then Tim's going to be able to get neutral in the point, and um, then he's going to be able to reverse to whereby Tim will get forehand. So Maki in this game needs a lot of first serves, and a lot of and a lot of forehands. He needs to take the first hit here. Gets the tough break off the tape. Out. Even though Maki lost the point there, that's a good process for him. You saw after the serve, he was able to get two forehands. And if that continues, I think that works in, in Maki's favor. So even this is a, a lost point, but this is actually, I feel like, a win, even though he made the, uh, the error there. That's the way he's going to be able to get back into this match and, and also build his confidence to, to win the big points when needed. The Arizona State junior to serve at 15 all. Got the big serve when he needed it. Timely, he needs it, he needs it. And uh, Tim is not really making any uh, any mistakes on the serve. I mean, he's he's really, I mean, the only serves he's not putting back in play is, is just too good for that. You know, he was able to hit his spot, but um, Mackey's got to go a little bit bigger on the serve, I, I believe. So this is the right tactic. A big point for Rock Tomala there. When Tim goes back, I think that's the right play. But when he lifts, he's got to get that ball deeper and a uh, little short again. And that's what got him in a little bit of trouble there. But I think it's the right tactic, able to go back and then take a bigger cut at the ball and uh, use that spin to come up to make that ball bounce high off the surface. Three chances here to get it to 5-3. Save one time by San Colin, but Rocket Tamala able to put Lee, that away to three. and save one game. It is still a 5 3 deficit, though. I think what we're going to see here is this ball is actually probably a little out, but I don't blame Mackey for wanting to make sure. Well, maybe it just caught the edge of the line, but uh, made sure of it, and that was the right play there. Go 
go over the head of, of San Colin. So here it is. Uh, if San Colin doesn't serve well here, meaning that if he doesn't uh, use the first serve to get three points, we're in for a, uh, a heck of a game right here.